Hi, my name is Jim Harper, owner and founder of Technicide. Today I want to give you some tips and tricks on how to eliminate a bed bug problem using silica dust and the Xactocide. Now assuming you've already inspected the home and have determined there is a bed bug infestation, it is very important that you have the customer clean up clutter, throw trash away, get them to do a thorough job. Also have them vacuum the house thoroughly. Now if these things don't happen, if they don't do it, and you still decide to proceed on the appointment, you need to do this and charge them for it. Once you have taken care of all the clutter and vacuumed the carpets, it's time for you to go and treat all the cracks and crevices and voids. Start with the most heavily infested area. Go to that infested room, treat all the wall outlets and switch plates. Get the dust deep into the voids. Turn up the dial on the exact side from medium to high. If you treat right, you'll be able to see dust penetrating and puffing out around other outlets that are nearby on the same wall. From there, go around the room treating every piece of furniture that is in your way around the legs, up in any hollow cavities, hollow cavities behind the drawers, the seams of the drawer slides. You may also need to go inside the drawers. When you get around to the bed, make sure that you treat the bed frame, the headboard, the box springs. You can turn this little tip on the exact side flip it over so it's pointing up and go between that dust cover that's on the bottom of the box springs and in about three seconds you can fill that whole cavity with uh, silica gel. It's very important that you also treat the seams of the mattress. This could be the source of a heavy infestation. It could be all harboring on the edges underneath the, the piping. And that is done using our paintbrush applicator. The paintbrush applicator allows you to work the dust into the fibers in all those seams. The exacto side will push the dust into the paintbrush and you just need to prime it a few times and push it in, then prime it again and work the uh, silica gel into the fabric. That way it'll bind to the fabric and give you a long residual. It won't just fall off when somebody sits on the bed. It's also a good idea in a heavy infestation to separate the box springs and the mattress and get the underside of that mattress where it is coming in contact with the bed. I do recommend once you do this that you do cover the bed with a certified bed bug cover. This helps to contain that dust and also helps for future infestations. It's also important that you don't miss pictures. Bed bugs like to harbor behind pictures. They will also be up in the corners of the walls, so you need to check those and inspect it, especially behind curtains. Also, we have a carpet applicator and our customers have told us that this has improved their effectiveness by about 20%. You can use the carpet applicator that will allow you to push dust deep into the carpet. And this will be like your final touch before you leave the account. Pushing that dust around the perimeter of the room, deep into the carpet, it will also cover that tack strip and the baseboard. And then once you've done that heavily infested room, then go to the next room that is maybe a little less infested and do the same treatment there. Go through the entire house. With the exact side, it'll allow you to do a thorough treatment like this in a quarter of the time it would take to do it with any other conventional methods that are out there. My customers have told me that they would never do a bed bug treatment without it. Visit us at technicide.com and like us on Facebook. Thank you very much.